Can I borrow a comb? Sure. Thanks. My head's itching up a storm. <laughs> you know, like I got something crawling around up there. <laughs> Think I got the little critter. <laughs> Thanks, barber. Brad is not a barber, he's a stylist. What's the difference? You've seen mom's hair? That's a barber. <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm in a hurry. Can you cut my hair now? I'm busy, lady. <laughs> Do you know who I am? I'm Shirley Lupkin of the Sherman Oaks Lupkins. And they say there's no royalty in America. Look, I'll give you an extra $50 if you'll cut my hair now. Up. My hair's in my eyes. I can't see a thing. Really? Mm. <laughs> You'd never guess I was over 50, would you? daisies in the yard. We dug Grandma's grave. You tend it. You guys will never believe what happened to me today. I did Shirley Lupkin. <laughs> of the Sherman Oaks Lupkins? The big screen TV Lupkins? You know, they say her husband has a 62 and a half inch diagonal. <laughs> it's not the size. It's the vertical hold, baby. I got exciting news. I cut a woman's hair today, and I did good. So now I need 200 bucks so I can go to beauty school. What? Jack, I think he's on drugs. That's gotta be the real reason he needs that money. God, I hope so. Oh, really? Mrs. Lupkin liked her hair so much, the salon said they'd hire me. Mom, Dad, I'm gonna be a hairdresser. <laughs> Jack, this would never have happened if you were a stronger man. Or if you weren't such a strong woman. What am I gonna tell the guys down at work? You never go to work. Now act like a father and have a man-to-man -man talk with the girl. Okay, I will. Ryan, sit down. And uh, not so close. And uh, don't cross your legs that way. Look, Dad, it's not what you think. I still like women. In fact, I think cutting hair might be a good way to get to meet them. You know? Did you hear that, Jenny? He still likes women. But it's, it's not just the women. Oh. You're either on the team or you're off. And once you're off the team, we don't let you back in the locker room. Dad, I'm saying I think I might actually be good at this. Look, I know it's gonna be hard. Beauty school is gonna be days and days of work. This may be my calling. I mean, High school's fun and everything, but is it really something I'm gonna wanna do when I'm 40? <laughs> well, no child of mine is gonna suffer the humiliation of dropping out of school. Not even the moron. <laughs> there is nothing more important than a good education. Isn't that right, Jack? Well, that's right. We have a tradition in this family, son. No one drops out of school unless they get somebody pregnant. <laughs> What's new, Jack? Oh, nothing much. I went to see a movie today. Knock it off! I'm your alter ego. I know what's going on. 
Let's talk about Ryan being gay. <laughs> He is not gay. He is going to study to become an air conditioning repairman. <laughs> All right, so you're right. It's true. He wants to go to beauty school. He must be real proud. Of course, a less trusting father might suspect something. After all, beauty school is one of the signs. Signs? Signs of what? That you might be that way. <laughs> there are several warning signs of Nancy boy-itis, Jack. <laughs> For instance, if the first thing you notice about a woman is her eyes. <laughs> or her purse. <laughs> Another tip-off is if you save the ribbon after you open a present. <laughs> or if you've ever thought about what costume you'd wear if you were in the village, people. <laughs> if you went by yourself to see the English patient. <laughs> if you have women friends, you know, cause you enjoy their company. <laughs> Another would be if you're a grown man and you have a stuffed animal. Hey. Dodge, uh, just kidding. Okay, Floppy, I, uh, I think I get your point, but, well, I'm just a little worried that some people might find that last speech of yours offensive. So why don't you make another speech making fun of straight people? Huh? Uh. <laughs> yeah, all right. For those of you out there who are worried about having a straight son, <laughs> Here are some warning signs. You might be a straight boy if you eat food out of a can. Straight if you're proud of your bodily emissions. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> or if you only shower when you're dirty. And I mean when you're absolutely sure you're dirty. <laughs> if you look really stupid when you dance. Straight. <laughs> and especially if you find it oddly distasteful to tongue kiss another man. <laughs> Say, Fluffy, what if a woman wants to tongue kiss another woman? That's beautiful, Jack. <laughs> Ross? You're not down here. Thank God. <laughs> Hello, Spike. No, it's me, Ryan. <laughs> Just... Getting ready for my first day at work. This is the uniform. <laughs> hate these pants, they're so tight I really can't bend over in them at all. Well, I think that's for the best. <laughs> so, is that chest hair part of the uniform as well? No, it's my own personal touch. It's chia chest. <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to look cool. This thing looks every bit as real as the hair on Burt Reynolds' head. I think my masculinity comes through. Oh, yeah. Then it's saying, you who sailor. I didn't get dressed up in leather and high heels to be laughed at, baby. I'm just a little concerned about giving my first haircut. It's not the haircut that's important. It's the pattern that counts. To be a good stylist, you need a good wrap. Let's give it a try, all right? Let's say that a woman sits down in your chair, OK? And she says, I just broke up with my boyfriend. You say? Maybe you should shave that mustache? You are so stupid, I can't believe you graduated from beauty school. No, you say he doesn't deserve you. You tell her she's beautiful. You say you can do better than that. And then you give her a hug. A hug helps a woman forget all her problems. And do I grind a little bit so I get something out of this too? No, you never initiate the grind. You can, however, reciprocate the grind. That's considered proper etiquette. So much to learn. Yeah. <laughs> Ross! Ross, get down here! We're gonna 
play some football! Hey, Dad, look what I can do. That's great. Look what I can do. <laughs> now, come on, we're playing football! <laughs> Mrs. Dubsey, this is Ryan. You'll be his first head. Hello, Mr. Ryan. <laughs> so, uh, are you gonna make me look like I'm 30? <laughs> Maybe like you were hit by a truck going 30. <laughs> In beauty school, they taught us to open with a joke. <laughs> 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 so, uh, how's it going? Well, my husband doesn't pay enough attention to me. Uh, he doesn't deserve you. You're right. Oh, you really understand women. <laughs> yeah, you know. You can do better than him. Beautiful woman like you deserves the best. I think someone needs a hug. <laughs> Please don't grind. Please don't grind. <laughs> oh, you make a woman feel so good. A oh, girl. <laughs> oh, get back in that chair. all of your powers for your next client. She's a famous actress, producer, maker and breaker of careers. Goldie Sternfeld. Putty in my magic hands. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Yeah, yeah, enough with the small talk. I came here to get my hair done. Oh, and get away from the pressures of my maids and secretary and my gardener with his annoying blower. He's against me. Oh, I'm so nice. Let's go, let's go, cut already. Boyfriend troubles? No. He doesn't deserve you. Nobody in this town does. You can do better than him. Better than who? You're a retard, I'm out of here. <laughs> you know you got a great butt? Oh, yeah? You really think so? Yeah. Your boyfriend doesn't deserve your butt. He doesn't understand your butt. In fact, I think your butt needs a big hug. You know, I think you're right. Why don't we finish this haircut at my place? <laughs> the piece to my Mercedes. Drive me home. Welcome to the love boat. I'll be your skipper. Oh, isn't he the cutest little thing? Now, I know what you're thinking. It's illegal. But don't worry, I won't press charges. <laughs> oh. Ross, 
Did you take out an ad saying you're casting an Aaron Spelling show again? <laughs> if somebody puts a candy store in the house, you're a sucker not to take a piece. <laughs> see Mr. Ryan. He's so cool. The other day he said I was beautiful and that my boyfriend didn't deserve me. That's right. He totally understands women. <laughs> <laughs> but I taught him to say that. Someone sounds bitter. Oh, I think she needs one of Mr. Ryan's hugs. <laughs> Who wants a hug? <laughs> Ross, how'd you get in there? I don't know, but the important thing is, I was there. <laughs> Found out you've been skipping school. She's down meeting with the principal right now. Yeah, well, Goldie made me the producer of her new movie. I can buy and sell, Mom. <laughs> Ladies, it's three o'clock. Time for my 12:15. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Holy young stuff. <laughs> what are you girls doing in my house? My son. <laughs> well, that's right. Just let the bunny look at you. This is creepy. Well, I know it may seem like a weird kind of a life I have down here. Give the bunny a little hug. Yeah, go ahead. I bet he'd be fun to sleep with. <laughs> yeah, he is. I'm gonna go now, okay? <laughs> Heidi, Heidi, Heidi Ho! <laughs> what was that all about? She's here to be with Ryan. He's not a Nancy boy. <laughs> I tell you, Floppy, I'm so proud of that boy. And I'm starting to hate his guts. He's had three women in one afternoon. I've had three in my entire life. <laughs> you know something? You tell people you want your son to do better than you, but you don't really. He doesn't deserve you. I know. He doesn't understand you. No one does. And get a big hug. <laughs> Who's the fairy princess now, Jack? <laughs> Louie, 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 you're killing me. We want gross points, and I want Tom Cruise to play me. You want David Caruso? Let him play you. <laughs> yeah, it's David Caruso. David, I love you, baby, but you gotta talk to Louie. Louie, yeah, Caruso's gonna call you. Tell him we're thinking about it. Yeah, we'll be thinking about it till the movie's over. <laughs> Ryan, I want a part in this movie. Tiffy, baby, Bubbala, you're in. You're Caruso's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. I quit. You are dumber and far less competent than I, yet you are my boss. I guess this is an excellent introduction to Hollywood. <laughs> All right. Everybody gather round and listen up. I was just at the high school. It took me five hours to find anybody who even knows who you are. <laughs> Ryan, you haven't been to school in weeks. No time, Mambala. I'm mogulizing. Jack, I got a similar call from your job at the car lot. You haven't been there all week. I don't like working. <laughs> I'm thinking of starting my own website. I don't know what that means, but I think you get to stay home. Brian, I want you to go back to school. Honey, do you realize you missed your geography test today? Fortunately, I was able to schedule your makeup for right now at school. Ma, I got a meeting with Columbia tonight. 
I'm gonna be a movie producer. <laughs> a hairstylist producing major motion pictures. Yeah, right. <laughs> Even if they really do want you now, just think how much more they're gonna want you once you get that high school diploma. Yeah, the opportunities will always be there, but you need a high school diploma to fall back on. You know, I'm gonna do it. Because you guys are parents, and parents always know the right thing. Besides, this chia hair is really starting to spread to my back. Chat and entertainment news, an idiot named Ryan Malloy failed to show up at a studio meeting. So Goldie Sternfeld's new producer will be her gardener and make $8 million. <laughs> Boy, didn't we make a wrong decision on this one. You think we should tell Ryan that we screwed this one up? No, I don't think so. I'd rather see him wallow in poverty for the rest of his life than ever think we did anything wrong. <laughs> well, failed the test. Sorry I let you guys down. I guess I'll never amount to anything, huh? I guess. <laughs> Kids, when your parents tell you to do something, think real hard about it. Because remember where that advice is coming from. We don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> need my friend chicks flock to me like old people to a conversation about bowel movements the only lines i need are hey you with the double d's you better be the hell out of here before i wake up and of course no that kid does not look like me it must have been some other gray furry guy mm -hmm.